Hey, good morning. Welcome to a Monday morning. Starting to look outside your weather window. This is I-15, Manida Pass. We're looking at pretty clear conditions right now. 48 degrees right now in through Pocatello. We've got clear skies and the wind's about 18 miles per hour. So that's going to knock us down to 41 for feels like temperature. 49 degrees in through Idaho Falls with clear skies as well. 21 mile per hour wind speeds. So that means we're looking at a feels like temperature of 42 degrees. Here's some temperatures around the region. You can see we're in the 30s in through through Afton, 30s through Yellowstone, 40s in through the Snake River Plain right now, 45 through Soda Springs, 50s as we make our way to Power County and through American Falls, Burley, 40s through Arco Haley, Chalice, 30s right now for Salmon. Wind speeds, we mentioned the double digit wind speeds in through Idaho Falls, Pocatello, Jackson, single digit wind speeds from Driggs to Yellowstone through Chalice and Haley and in through the Arco Desert. Look at our storm tracker radar. It looks pretty clear right now as we expect all these clouds to stay to the north of us. We have some uh, wet weather flying in through Canada right now, but right now we are just high and dry, but we do have that cold front. It's a dry cold front that pushed through last night in today, and that's going to give us some really cool temperatures. We're talking cooler. No 90 degree temperatures today. Nope, 67 Pocatello, Blackfoot, 66 American Falls in the 60s for our highs today through Idaho Falls, Rexburg, St. Anthony, in through the Southeast Highlands, sunny and cool as well, only into the low 60s for our daytime highs. Preston, middle 50s for a high today. In through the Highlands, Western Wyoming, cooler as well with lots of sunshine, 63 for our highs through Jackson, Afton, 60 for Island Park, 66 for Dubois, Yellowstone, only 54 for a high today. Look for a few clouds in through the Central Mountains. Look for 60s for Salmon, Chalice, Mackey, Arco, 50s for Ledor. And then as we move into your Tuesday morning, just a few clouds remaining in through the Central Mountains. But look at these overnight lows below the freezing mark for Ledor, Salmon, Stanley, Chalice, 33 for a low in Mackey, 34 for a low in Arco. We're looking for cold temperatures in through the highlands and western Wyoming as well because we're going to have clear skies. It means we won't have the cloud cover to insulate us to keep us warm. Nope, 25 for a low through Jackson, 24 Afton, 23 Yellowstone, 20s for Island Park, 30s for Driggs and for Dubois. And for the southeast highlands, just a few clouds and lows in the 30s as well. We'll be just a little bit above the freezing mark for Income, below the freezing mark for Soda Springs, Montpelier, at the freezing mark for Preston, Lava, Downey 33, and then forward the Snake River Plain, just a few clouds, and a lot of us will be in the 20s and low 30s. Here's a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast. Sunshine will continue Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll warm up for the next couple days, 70s tomorrow, 80s for a high on Wednesday, a little breezy on Wednesday, though. But then it's just back and forth between the 70s and 80s, taking us into the weekend. Blackfoot, Tuesday, sunny, 76 for the high, a little windy, about 20 mile per hour winds for Wednesday, and a high of 80 for the Idaho Falls area. Also, the sunshine tomorrow, a few clouds for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll remain in the 70s for the next few days for our daytime highs, 80s by Friday, back into the 70s for Saturday. Rexburg looking for 70 degree weather Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with just a few clouds, more sun than clouds for the next few days. Teton area, sunshine all the way through the week and into the weekend with highs in the low 70s, overnight lows in the 30s and for the central mountains look for a few clouds tomorrow wednesday and thursday highs 80 tomorrow 70s for wednesday and thursday dn